Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Oklahoma City Thunder realistic rebuild here on NBA 2K22 on the World of Juice Hoops channel. I hope you guys are enjoying your day or night or afternoon or, or evening or early morning. Whenever you're watching this video, I hope you're enjoying it. We've got a Christmas Day special. Yeah, we're playing on Christmas against the New York Knickerbockers. Yes, I have to be very careful when I say their full name. <laughs> the New York Knicks are coming to town, right? No, we're going to the Garden on Christmas to play the Knicks. If you missed the last episode, it was the start of season number two. We got to see Paolo Bancaro for the first time. That's pretty cool. He, In his first rookie season, his first rookie season? In his rookie season so far... He's averaging 14 points per game, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, doing really, really well. Shea is obviously killing the game right now, averaging the most points of his career. Being an absolute beast dominant player, averaging about 25 points per game. Then you got Josh Giddy, who is killing the game as well. Mitchell Robinson's averaging about the same amount of points that he usually does. Jalen Brunson, even off the bench, is doing okay. Kevin Porter Jr. off the bench is playing okay. Then you got... Uh, he played in Cleveland for a season? I don't remember that at all. Lou Dort doing a little bit less than, than normal. He had two seasons here last year in our save where he averaged about 14 points. But this year, so far on the season, hasn't really done that great. But he's been a solid player for us. Hamadou Diallo has been okay for us. Jaden McDaniels is, is eh. He's okay. But I want to show you guys the future draft picks because... We have three this year, a Kings pick, a lottery protected Nuggets pick, which is going to be good because, well, it's not going to be quote unquote good. It's going to be our pick because the Nuggets most likely won't be in the lottery. And then we have a swap best with the Clippers. We get the best version of the pick. So let's check out what the Nuggets are doing so far in the season, not the G League stats. The Denver Nuggets are 10 and 21 okay so that might have gone south for us i forgot that they were doing so bad to start the season <laughs> i forgot that we are 15 and 14 the final team in the playoff picture as of right now are we gonna be a, a play-in team a playoff team at all anything i don't know we'll have to wait and find out it's gonna be very interesting to see how this team develops throughout the season obviously we're waiting for josh giddy to take off Shea's already a dominant star. We're waiting for Paolo to, to develop even more. Um, we could possibly see Kevin Porter Jr. develop a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of guys that we're waiting on to develop. But this team, I like the team as it stands right now. We're going to New York, to the Garden, to play Zach Levine, RJ Barrett, and the New York Knicks. I hope you guys are excited because we got some Christmas Day basketball for you. Smash that like button if you go on to enjoy this video. Hit the notification bell and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club main channel. Link is down below in the description if you want to go check that out as well. The World of Juice channel. And let's go get some Christmas basketball underway. New York City. The Big Apple is the destination for the Thunder. A talented, versatile duo. Shea Gilgis Alexander and Lou Dort. They'll be bringing the energy as they get prime for action against the Knicks. Thunder Knicks is next, right after this. Season's greetings and Merry Christmas to everyone joining us here at 2K Sports. It's time for a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Kimball Walker. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. 
Before we get going here, we have time for a pregame courtside report. Allie LaForce, it's all yours. Brian, the Knicks are making a nice turnaround under coach Tom Thibodeau. He said, quote, it's a proud organization. I was here during the 90s. That doesn't have anything to do with today. Just like I don't want us looking ahead. I don't want us looking behind. Our focus has to be exactly on what's in front of us. Guys? That's a great point. Thanks, Allie. All right, Greg, go back to your career a little bit now. Talk about some of your more memorable Christmas Day games. Wow. You know, I think my most memorable was my first Christmas Day game. In 1996, we played in Chicago. Yeah, you know, I had a, a nice 27 against Scottie Pippen. But in fairness to Pip, he gave me 27 as well. So we kind of evened out. A look at the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. We've got Amadou Diallo. Mitchell Robinson is out there with Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Giddy in at the two guard spot. And for New York, Barrett plays the small forward with Randall in at the four. Zach Levine out there with Kimball Walker. And it's go. Noel in at the five spot. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's Christmas basketball on the World of Juice Hoops channel. Julius Randle has the ball. He gives it to Kemba Walker, kind of falling off in his career here a little bit as he enters the the twilight of it. Nerlens Noel, one of the better defensive centers in the entire game. Kemba Walker takes a good jumper, and that's all on me too. I uh, I thought he was going to take a shot earlier in the in the clock, but he didn't. Shea to Giddy. We really need Giddy to become something. If Josh Giddy can become something, he can become our better, uh, probably our best player. He's got the potential. Shea misses the layup. The Knicks get the rebound. Got the little snowman on the scoreboard. You'd love to see that. Kemba Walker. They're really slow on their offense. They're really taking their time here. Paolo gets beat. I I brought Paolo in to try and stuff. The, I think it was Kemba, and then he uh, passed it to Julius Randle. That was a bad idea. Well, good idea for him. Bad idea for us. Hamadou Diallo can't go anywhere. It's going to be Shea. Diallo to Giddy. Giddy with the three in the face of Zach Levine. No good. That would have been pretty awesome if you would have hit that. Oh, Palo. Palo swatted away, and we're down 6 nothing early on Christmas. I thought I was going to get a block there, but I didn't. Shea. Diallo. Hamadou. Can't get anywhere. Come on, Shea. Get a bucket. There it is. Good job, Shea. We need to get him some buckets early so he can get hot and feel confident. Walker gives to Randall. He finds Levine. Feels weird seeing Levine in a Knicks jersey, but whatever. The switch on. Giddy's guarding Randall now. I don't really like this matchup, but it worked out a little bit, but Giddy had a hard foul on him. Randall shooting two. He makes the first. And he will miss the second. Okay, I didn't expect him to miss that. Giddy's open, though. Set your feet. Josh Giddy. Yeah, he got that in the, the second attempt. All right, Giddy missed the first, but he hits the second. It's a 7-5 to five game. Walker gives the Levine. Levine driving down. Josh Giddy is beat. And Zach Levine scores another bucket. Or that might have been his first bucket of the night. I don't know. Shea. No good. Paolo, you got to get that rebound. That's just that simple. I know you're a young rook, but you got to get that rebound. RJ Bear for three. No good. Mitchell Robinson with the rebound. Up the court in transition is Shea. Down low to Paolo. Back him down, Paolo. Back him down and then put it up. Good job. That's what a rookie does. Well, that's what a top five pick does, I should say. Great job from Paolo Bencaro. I still don't know if it's Paolo or... or oh, my God, Mitchell Robinson. Do you see how high he got up? <laughs> and the, balls are, or the ball is our uh, possession. You see how high Mitchell Robinson got up on that? That was crazy. I still don't know if, what I was saying was I still don't know if it's Paolo or, or um, Bancaro or Benchero. I'm not 100% sure which is which. Or how you pronounce it, I should say. Hamadou, drive in. I pressed the dunk button, but Julius Randle gave me a bailout there and he fouled me, so I'll take that. 
We're getting the defensive monster Lou Dorda. And Derrick Rose takes the court for the first time as Shea drives in and lays it up. Derrick Rose never been known for his dominant defense. We'll take Shea out, put Kevin Porter Jr. in. He gives it to Obi Toppin. Emmanuel quickly making a, a backdoor pass. No good. Palo with the rebound. Good job. Diallo moving up the court now. Isaiah Roby can't shoot the three, but we can dish it all the way to Shea. Cross court. Shea goes up. Going for a foul. Palo blocked by Randall. Man, that sucks. Cam Reddish on this team. That's Obi Toppin, and that is a bucket. Yep, that's happened to Paolo a couple of times now. Shea, drive in, just take it, Shea. No! Shea, you can't miss those. We need you to, to, to guarantee us some points. We got to bank on those, you making those. Emmanuel quickly gets by Jalen Brunson for a little bit. He did a good recovery there. Oh, a good screen from Obi Toppin and Cam Reddish. Oh, my God. Cam Reddish with a fading three. I did not see that coming at all, and I did not see him making it. Hamadou Diallo for three, and we tried to answer, and Hami misses. I don't know if Hami fits the system. Isaiah Roby trying to cover Julius Randle. Obi Toppin, double coverage, somehow still put it up. I don't know if Hami fits the system that I'm trying to build here in Oklahoma City. He's not as consistent I was li at a, as I would like. And that's another miss from Shea. We are not finding our offense here. Our main go-to bucket getter can't get a bucket. Derrick Rose fouled by Shea. Oh, no, it was Isaiah Roby who fouled him. If we can't rely on Shea Gillis-Alexander to get us buckets when we need to, we're going to be in trouble because that's basically our offense runs at the moment. Until Paolo develops and Giddy develops, we're kind of relying on Shea just to get us buckets whenever we're in trouble. Ludor can't get anything. Oh, that ball poked out. And that's a Knicks ball? Oh, I don't know if that's a New York ball. Come on. That was a crazy block by, by Mitch Robinson, though. I don't think that touched... Kevin Porter Jr., but whatever. It's Knicks ball. Under 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. We've been getting unlucky, you could say. Derrick Rose gives to Randall, who is very tired. He's been playing the whole first quarter. And he's taking that shot. He's missing that shot. Porter Jr. with the rebound. Up the court is Jalen Brunson. Brunson at the side, and he can't get it either. I probably should have passed that to Jaden McDaniels earlier. That might have been a smart idea. Derrick Rose going to take a bad three, and he misses that off the iron. 16-9 to nine to end the first quarter on Christmas. I don't like how this offense is played. We haven't been getting any buckets, and I don't like it. We start the second quarter down 16-9. to nine. We got to turn this around, or we're going to be in trouble pretty quickly. Jalen Brunson. Zach Levine's back in the game. That's just fantastic. Jaden McDaniels with the post fade. No good. If he can shoot threes, how can he not make a post fade? RJ Barrett's wide open. RJ Barrett for three. RJ Barrett sinks the three, and it's a 10 point Knicks lead. Come on, guys. Brunson. I need somebody to get buckets off the bench. Jalen Brunson blocked by Nerlens Noel, and it's out on us. So it goes back to the Knicks. <sighs> We don't have any offense whatsoever. Walker gives to Toppin. Toppin going to find Levine. Guarded by Brunson. Screen. This is a mismatch here. Back to... Oh, they shouldn't have passed it back, but it still worked out for him. They had a mismatch there, and they shouldn't have passed it back. RJ Barrett suffocated by Lou Dort, and we somehow get away. Lou Dort's open. Set your feet and shoot that. Lou Dort with a three, and we're back on the board. All right, it's about time we score some points. That was probably like a two- or three-minute drought that we just went on there. Kemba Walker. Oh, he's going to take the jumper off the screen. Rebound Porter Jr. Up the court now is Lou Dort. Takes the midi, and the mid-range goes in. Lou Dort's our bucket getter off the bench. I'll take it. 
I don't care who a bucket getter is, as long as we get a bucket getter. <laughs> as long as somebody can score some buckets off the bench, I don't care who it is. It could be Jesus Cristo if it is. I don't care who it is. RJ Barrett. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, RJ! He out-dribbled me ten times over and still missed the shot, but luckily he had Nerlens Noel, one of the better rebounders in the entire league. Porter Jr. finding Lou Dort. If we could back him down and do a post. Oh, the fade's no good. I probably shouldn't have tried that. That wasn't a very high percentage shot. RJ. Come on, RJ. Show me what you got. He's got nothing. He gives it to Obi. Obi's got nothing, too. Obi's got nothing, too. Kemba Walker. Back to RJ. That's a three. RJ Barrett, and he drains the three. When did RJ Barrett become a sniper from deep? I don't remember him being so good from three. He turns out that he is, because he is lighting up the score sheet with threes. Lou Dort. That was a bad shot, yeah. That was a very bad percentage shot. Shouldn't have taken it. It's my bad. Alley-oop, and Obi Toppin almost put that down. Luckily, it didn't have enough on it. The shot from RJ Barrett, no good. And we go back up the up the court. Isaiah Roby, blocked by Nerlens. Luckily, it went right to Kevin Porter Jr. Three for Porter Jr., and it's good! <laughs> I had no thoughts that was going in. Not one thought in my mind ever considered that going in. But it did. Kemba's trying to out-dribble me. He gives it to Roby on accident. And now Jaden McDaniels. Put it up, Jaden. You suck so many balls. God, that was an awful attempt. Come on, man. What are you doing? Obi Toppin's gonna block you? Obi Toppin? Come on, man. You can't get blocked by Obi Toppin. I don't know how that happened. Oh, get the ball. Somebody. Good job. Get that to Lou Dort. He's open. Set your feet. That's a green bean. And Lou Dort's keeping us in this ball game. Lou Dort is keeping us in this ball game. And the Knicks call a timeout with 2.02 to go in the half. Let's put in... We'll keep Jaden McDaniels in. We will put in... Tie tie for a couple minutes of action. Derek Rose will receive the inbound from Obi Toppin. Going against Tie Tie Washington. He gives it to Randall, who's a beefier boy than Jaden McDaniel, so we got to be careful here. He's going to take the mid. He gives it to Rose, who gives it to Reddish, to Quickly. Emmanuel Quickly is going to have to take something here. There's the screen. And Emmanuel Quickly somehow has an easy shot that he misses. Quickly, you can't miss that. That was a simple shot. Lou Dort. Come on, Lou. You have Derrick Rose on you and you can't make that bucket? Make that layup. Uh-oh. Quickly, he gets his revenge and puts that one in. Uh, Lou Dort needed to make that. He just did. That's all That's all you can say. He just, did. He just needed to make that. Bryn Forbes open. Bryn Forbes for three. All right, they closed down a lot quicker than I thought they were going to. I thought I was going to have a little bit more time and space. Quickly's just taking the ball every single possession, and he got his own rebound there. We can't let Emmanuel quickly get his own rebound. That's just embarrassing. What kind of organization lets Emmanuel quickly get his own rebound and put up another bucket? That's going to go stolen by the Knicks. And now... Julius Randle's open. He's going to miss that one. McDaniels with the rebound. We are just all over the board. I had an open three there. Bryn Forbes? Oh, come on. Don't give me a bad shot with that. That was a good high percentage shot, and I just didn't get the release on it. They're going to alley-oop to Obi Toppin, but it's a miss again. They've tried that twice now. To no avail, Ty Ty goes in. No good on Ty Ty's layup. And we are just, speaking of in shambles, we are in shambles right now. I don't know if I was speaking in shambles, but we are. Quickly for three. No good, basically with the rebound. And we end the half down 28 to 20. That was an ugly, ugly first half. All right, we start the second half down by eight. We've got to turn things around. We are 
Just, we are much better than how we're playing, and that's an example right there. Shea creating his own shot. That's the kind of team that we need to have. We need to have Shea creating his own shot. We need to have Josh Giddy creating his own shot. Other guys, and we need to play good defense. There's Paolo finally showing up on defense there. That's how you want to start a half. And then Shea take it to the rack and do it again. Eight points for Shea. I like this kind of offense. Now let's play defense. It's simple. We play offense, we play defense. Levine, guarded by Giddy. He gives it to Noel. Noel luckily can't shoot the three, so he doesn't have anything there. Walker, double screen there, and he takes the mid-range. No good. Palo with the rebound. Up the court's Baisley to Giddy. Giddy's going to try and drive in. Nope. Hamadou Diallo. I didn't know he was going to be covered like that. I thought I had a little bit more space, and I get a reach-in call with Paolo. Well, that's just not fun. That's just not fun. Zach Levine. Oh, Zach. He's got a mid-range. No good. Nerlens Noel with the rebound. He's going to dunk it right over Paolo. That's welcome to the league, my friend. Welcome to the NBA. Oh, that was supposed to go to Giddy. Now it goes to Giddy. Back to Shea. I don't really have anything here. Giddy on Kemba. I don't like that option, but I was literally about to pass it to him. Pass it to Alexander, but it got bumped off. I'm trying to guard Nerlens Noel. It's not really going very well. And he just, he, I'm, I suck at playing defense. That's all you can say about that. I want, didn't I try to sign him as Noel? I don't remember. He might have been, no, he couldn't have been restricted. I don't remember what happened there. It's been a couple episodes since the offseason. I don't remember. 32 to 24. Shea gets the inbound. Shea goes around and Shea slams it in. 10 points for him. All right. Are we just going to rely on Shea cutting around the defense and scoring buckets? Is that what we're going to have to rely on? Because I can if we need to. <laughs> He's going to give that to Kemba. Kemba's going to get the screen from Nerlens. Kemba. He's not like Charlotte Kemba. This is not Charlotte Kemba. Paolo with the rebound. He gives it to Mitchell Robinson. Giddy. Down low, it's Paolo. But he's guarded by Nerlens. I don't really like this matchup. And that's why. Because Nerlens one of the better blockers in the league. I've said that for like three things now for Nerlens. He's just one of the better centers in the league. He's underrated, okay? I like Nerlens Noel. Shea, get fouled. Okay, he doesn't get fouled, but he does put it up. 32-28. And that's going to be a timeout called by the Knicks. Surprising timeout, maybe? I don't know. We'll take Paolo, and we'll put in Jaden McDaniels. And we'll see what we can do here after the timeout. Three minutes, ten seconds to go, third quarter. The inbound is to R.J. Barrett. Gives it to Walker. He gives it to Julius Randle. What's Julius going to do? Julius Randle going to back down Jaden. Going to go to the paint. Doesn't take the shot initially. Pump fakes it. And then he takes that shot. And that's a high percentage shot that he missed. Mitchell Robinson with the rebound. Hamanu Diallo finds Jaden McDaniels. And he puts it in. I thought he was going to miss that. No doubt. I seriously thought he was going to miss that. I would have been heated if he would have missed it. But we pulled the, the deficit down to two. And now this is a match, matchup I like. Kemba and Jaden. Hamadou and RJ. Screen from Julius. RJ. Good job by the defense there. Hamadou Diallo. Josh Giddy gives it to Diallo, who just went down the court in defensive effort, but he couldn't get the offensive effort to go. So we're still down by two. Kemba to Randall. And Mitchell, did he block that? I think Mitch Robinson did block that. So we'll take that. Kevin Porter Jr. No, Kevin. You had enough space too, and now you're in the crowd? You had enough space to hit that. Maybe you didn't set your feet enough? I don't know what, what happened there. He should have taken that after the pump fake. Zach Levine. Where are you going? Oh, Zach got through, but Mitchell Robinson with the block. I love having Mitchell Robinson down here in the, in the paint. It's so nice. That was a bad shot. Diallo with the rebound. And we reset. 
Josh Giddy goes in hard and fouled by Nerlens. Out of all the defensive stuff that Nerlens has done today, that's only his first foul. Giddy hits the first. And Giddy misses the second, but Mitchell Robinson with the rebound. And Mitchell Robinson gives us the lead. He boxed out Julius Randle, and then he bodied him, and he posted him up, and and Mitchell Robinson dunks that over Julius Randle. That's what happens when you got a big, tall guy going against a smaller big man. And it's a one-point Thunder lead, and now it's a one-point Knicks lead. If Giddy would have just hit that free throw, we'd be tied right now and then down by two. There's McDaniels. I don't think... Actually, it's RJ. Oh, Jaden. Make that better. I hate when you miss those. And that's going to be Julius Randle blocked by Mitchell Robinson. Oh, my God. Mitchell Robinson. He just went crazy. My God. You almost blocked that into the basket. That would have been wild. Mitchell Robinson might have a double-double with rebounds and blocks if we're not careful. He's got his, uh, his, his trait activated. I forget what it's called. His takeover, that's what it is. Down by three. Under a minute to go, third quarter. Oh, he's wide open. No! I got the release wrong. How do I get a release like that wrong? Porter Jr. fouled in one? No, can't get the in one. Cam Reddish fouls me. And I missed the free throw. I got to get these releases down. And I missed both the free throws. I don't know Kevin Porter's release. His free throw release. Emmanuel quickly. He takes that one. No good. Giddy with the rebound. Up the court now is Porter Jr. To the basket. I got Mitchell Robinson. I got Lou Dort. That's the... I had Lou Dort, but it never went to Lou Dort. Good defense, though. Got to get it up. That's Josh Giddy. Oh, 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 no. I count that as in. It was like 70% in the basket. I count that as a bucket, but they don't. So fourth quarter down by three. We suck. Here we go. Start of the fourth quarter. Zach Levine with the ball. Is he going to get another block with Mitchell Robinson? Yes, he is. Mitchell Robinson. I, I want to keep Mitchell Robinson on the team just for his blocks. I love having a, a lanky big man that can block the shots like that. He doesn't blunt. No, you got to be joking. That was not a foul. That was not a foul on Zach Levine. You can't be serious right now. Are they serious? I think they're serious because he's shooting free throws. Oh, my God. Zach Levine gets a three-point play with the free throws. I cannot believe they called that. Unreal. Paolo's in now, guarded by Cam Reddish. I like this matchup a little bit better. Cam's a baby. Good job from the Rook. He's a little small child. Derrick Rose. If we can get that matchup 90% of the time, Derrick Rose! You gotta be joking. Derrick Rose hitting a three on me on Christmas. Alright, we got that matchup again. Body him, Paolo. Body him. Put it up. Yes, Paolo! I'll just score points like that if you're gonna keep giving me that matchup. Because it seems to work. Paolo likes it. It may be slow. It may waste a little bit of time. And especially if the Knicks are gonna shoot threes. But I will take that all day if Paolo's gonna hit it. And Zach Levine just got around me because I have horrible defense. And we reset. All right, can we get Paolo that matchup again? We certainly can. Get it to Paolo. Let him back him down and put it up. Paolo Bancaro. That's what I'm talking about. He's getting tired. He's really getting worn out doing that. Doesn't have the great stamina. But we're down 44-39. We're making a little bit of a comeback here. We are getting Shea back in. We get Lou Dort. We get Jalen Brunson in. They inbounded. It's to Cam Reddish. No. Good steal. That's Josh. Or that's Shea. We toss that up the court to Lou Dort. And that's a reach in by Cam Reddish. Number two on the day for him. 
Let's just start it here. Start the process right here from the inbound. Give that to Paolo and let him back him down. I saw Jalen Brunson there, but I didn't think I had it. Give it to him and put it in. 10 points, 5 rebounds for Paolo. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. No, I'm just kidding. That's copyright. Zach Levine trying to get around Lou Dort. He's too much of a defensive stalwart. Give it to Paolo and let him go in. Let him work. Put it in. Yes! I'm loving it. We're in this game because Paolo is body and cam reddish. That's the kind of offense we need to do. I don't care if it's ugly. I don't care if it's slow. It's working, isn't it? Emmanuel quickly. That was a bucket that probably should have been blocked. As long as they don't switch that matchup, it doesn't look like they will. Oh, Nerlens just intercepted me like a straight-up cornerback. Emmanuel quickly feels like he's LaMichael La Michael Jordan. He's just Michael Jordan. And that's going to be Kemba who puts it in. And just like that, all our hard work is evaporated by the New York Knicks. Shea, no. I thought Shea had a little bit better of a drive there. Paolo, no, okay. Paolo might be a little bit gassed. Our offense might have just been drained away. Oh, I thought he was going to take that shot. He doesn't. It's Reddish guarded by Shea. This is not a great matchup here. Reddish gives to Walker. Kemba takes it, and Kemba gets through. He knifed the defense, and Kemba's through. I can't believe that he actually did that. Shea, get us some buckets, Shea. Brunson. Back to Shea. I just don't have any anybody to hit. Green from Lou Dort. 46 to 50. We're still in this game because of Lou Dort. That makes no sense, but it's the facts of life. It is the facts of life that we're in this game. Zach Levine, he pulls up and he gets it to go. I needed Roby to get that affected a little bit more. He doesn't. 46-52. Shea drives and Shea lays it in. 14 points for him. 48-52. Can I steal that? No, I don't want to get a foul. Unnecessary. Zach Levine. He gives it to Nerlens. Nerlens can't do anything. He gives it to Kemba. Kemba certainly can. He's proven that in this game. Kemba with the crazy dribble moves. We stay with him for now. He gives it to Levine. Levine's going to drive in and Lee's got the easy bucket. Jalen Brunson had no shot of that. I need to get a bigger shooting guard in there, which is why I'm bringing in Josh Giddy. If I could get Lou Dort in open three, that would be ideal. There it is. There's no! You cannot foul me in that situation. I had Lou Dort open. He knew that, and he fouled me. Unbelievable. Shea drives in. Fouled. No and one. But Shea's going to the line to shoot two. Wow, the crowd really affected me on that one. The shake got me. I thought that I had it a little bit longer. There's the green. 49-54. We got about a minute to go in this game. I got to get Mitchell Robinson back in here. Kemba doesn't shoot the mid-range. Nerlens back to Kemba. Just, that was a lot of work just to get it back to Kemba. Come on, Kemba. You don't have it anymore. This is not Charlotte Hornets. Kemba blocked by, G by Gilgis. I was going to say Giddy, but he's the one who rebounded it. Come on, Lou. I'm looking for Lou Dort to get open here. That would be ideal. There it is. I was a bad opportunity. I screwed it up. I shouldn't have taken that shot. RJ Barrett. RJ gets the bucket on the contact. Seven point Knicks lead. Man, I just don't have any offense. Mitchell, stolen by Nerlens? You gotta be joking! Nerlens Noel with the steal? What is this, 2013? Mitchell gets the foul called on him, of course he does. 
and we're gonna lose the game on Christmas to the Knicks. Oh, I can't believe we're gonna lose this game. That's so unfortunate. I know we didn't play all that well in this game, but we've done enough to to win it. Man, that stupid foul call by RJ. I think it was RJ Barrett. That stupid foul call by RJ Barrett when I had Lou Dort wide open for three, pretty much guaranteeing a bucket. Now, I know Lou Dort's not an automatic bucket, but I I was in a pretty good uh, shooting form with Lou Dort. I think I would have been able to hit that. And then RJ Barrett reaches in and gets called for the, the reach in. That is so stupid. That's what cost us the game. That turned it around. At that point, we, what, we were down by four? That would have put us down by one? Oh, man. I'm heated about that. I'm actually angry. Kemba Walker is the player of the game. 15 points for Shea, 13 for Ludorf, 12 and 5 for Paolo. He really stepped up after I found out that he could body Cam Reddish. Nobody else really did much. Let's go find out what the actual stats are after we do the adjusted simulation stuff. So we end up losing 116 to 102. And Shea puts up 30 and 6. 26 for Lou Dort. 24 and 10 for Paolo. 8 and 10 for Giddy. A double-double. I said it. I, I knew Robinson was going to do it, and he does it. 12 rebounds and 10 blocks for Mitchell Robinson. Absolutely crazy numbers. But we do unfortunately lose. Let's go to a home game sometime in probably. Actually, you know what? It's probably time for the All-Star break. You know what? Let's do that. Let's just skip right to the All-Star break, skip all the good stuff, and we'll see what happens from here. How's the team going to perform? We go on a big-time losing streak so far. We finally beat the Warriors. All right, now we're on a win streak. Give us a couple wins. We beat the Suns twice in three days but now we're on a losing streak again come on turn it around turn it around i know we can do it there we go beat the clip clip beat the timberwolves can't beat the warriors though it's all right they're they're the warriors they're good for a reason are we gonna beat the nuggets we do and that's not a good sign because we have their draft pick we beat the nuggets beat the warriors again Beat the Grizzlies, all right, all right. Beat the Cavs. Josh Giddy twisted left knees out for one to two weeks. That's not a good sign. Don't like seeing that. Uh, but he's almost back. Now he is back. All right, that's good. You love to see that. Jonathan Isaac for Kevin Porter Jr. in a second. I'd like that, but no, I'm not going to take it. This is supposed to be realistic. Al Horford, no. Now we're getting some big wins. We're up to the sixth seed in the conference, ladies and gentlemen. The sixth seed in the conference. Why can't I simulate through the day? Oh, this is all-star draft stuff. We might as well see who it is. Team Jimmy Butler? Jimmy Butler's an all-star captain, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, here are your all-stars. I don't think... Oh, Shea makes it for the first time in his career. So we get one all-star. That's pretty good. He's a, he's a reserve, but he makes the team. All right, I'll take it. We lose to the Knicks again. And we lose to the Raptors, and Isaiah Roby's out. All right, so we are the seventh seed in the conference. We are battling. You know what? The way that we've been playing back and forth, we could really theoretically jump up to, like, the third or the fourth seed if we keep having, like, these win streaks where we just go on a, on a big, like, four or five game win streak like we did here with the Pacers and the, the Jazz, the Blazers, and the Rockets. Like, if we do that a couple of times during this last half of the season, we can certainly see ourselves up there in the the top half of the league but the player stats that's why Shea's an all-star right there averaging 24 points per game that is better than what he did last season even even Paolo's jumped up he might win rookie of the year ladies and gentlemen watch out Paolo Bencaro Paolo Benchero might be winning the, the rookie of the year Josh Giddy, playing better than he did last year too love to see that Hami not doing as well as he did last year but we might move him at the deadline now that I think about it. The deadline's right here. That's why I stopped because I kind of want to get your guys' feedback on what we do. Do we move Hamadou Diallo? Do we... Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. wants to test free agency. He's on the last year of his deal. I don't think he fits our system, which is why I kind of maybe move on from him. We kind of move on from him. So do we move Hamadou Diallo at the deadline? 
This is kind of what he's he's going for right now. Just him straight up, no draft picks attached. Although I could throw that lottery protected Nuggets pick alongside Hamadou Diallo. This is, uh, if it ever loads, there we go. This is what we are kind of getting offered for Hamadou straight up. I don't know if there's anything here that I really like that really stands out to me that's like super yeah we could do that deal let's try and throw in that nuggets protected pick and see if that changes anything is that gonna change anything lottery protected nuggets pick because they're probably gonna be in the lottery now that we look at it and that can get us a big time guy that can get us a paul george or it can get us a straight up Knicks pick along with Devontae Graham. Is Paul George the kind of automatic bucket getter that we need? Plus the Clippers. I know that's a lot of money to take in on an older Paul George. But the Clippers are bad like they always are. They're never really that good in 2K. Is this the, the move that we get? Let me know down below what you guys think. There's there's some interesting offers here. You guys can say, I like this one, to be fair. I really like this one. We'd be giving up that Nuggets pick, which is probably going to be in the lottery now that we look at it, now that we look at what the season is going. And then we get an unprotect, so we just swap first-round picks. This one is even better for us because it's unprotected. And the Knicks might not even get this pick because the Nuggets could be in the lottery, and then it would go back to the Nuggets. And we'd also be bringing in another backup point guard in Devontae Graham. I'm kind of partial to this pick, but there's also some other decent offers in here. Jonathan Isaac in a 25 first round pick is decent. I don't hate that offer. Kira Lewis or Kira Lewis Jr. in, in a 24. I don't hate that as much. Uh, OJ and Kevin uh, Kevon Looney. Don't really hate that. Then you got Jordan Poole and Dray. I don't want Draymond. Uh, Chris Middleton's not realistic. So we really got a few options in here for you guys to to think about, and I'm thinking about it too. So let me know down in the comments if you have any opinion on who we possibly should trade at the deadline, if you think that we shouldn't trade Diallo, if you think we should trade him and somebody else, or if it's just Diallo. And then let me know for the Diallo trade if you think that we should trade him. Let me know what you kind of are thinking that we could. Maybe I even need to build my own. I don't know. Let me know. But the next episode is going to be the deadline. It's going to be the all-star stuff. And if we need to re-sign anybody on contract extensions, we will certainly do that in the next episode as well. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club. That main channel link is always down there in the description if you want to go check out the main channel of World of Juice. A lot of good content on there. But if you want to stay here, totally cool. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.